Islam, most of the time when people become the UFC world champion, they walk over here with their belt and they're cheering and they're yelling. You came over calm as a cucumber, no belt in sight. These guys more deserve than me because all my years these guys support me, help me, and I did everything for these guys. Make them happy. I know that you certainly made your team happy. I know you made yourself, your family happy. Does it feel as good as you always dreamed it would? This is, I don't know, I cannot believe because that moment on my shoulder too much right now, I don't know. I know it's really hard to do interviews when your adrenaline is pumping like this. I appreciate your time. You told me in the lead up to this one, you wanted to continue the legacy of Abdul Manap. It was important to you. He believed in you and you wanted to prove him right. What was going through your mind as you thought of him walking to the octagon? Always, he told after Habib when retired, Islam have to take this belt. But many things happen when he, after, after he, and you know, just a couple years, now I take belt from the Charles, but if, if he is us right now, I can take this belt before, you know, a couple years. I'm sure he's looking down and smiling from somewhere. You obviously are known as a dominant grappler, but your striking really shines tonight. You submitted a black belt, so you showed where your dominance on the canvas is, but you surprise a lot of people with what you can do on the feet. Were you glad to be able to do both? I know this guy has good jiu-jitsu, but I always told everybody, I don't care about his jiu-jitsu because I know my skills. Nobody around the world can make me have trouble in the, in the ground. That's why I know my skills and I know I can beat everybody. You proved you are certainly an extremely well-rounded fighter deserving of the world title. I know there's a lot of respect for Charles Oliveira, who you just defeated. But in the octagon came Alex Volkanovsky. And you talk about fighting him in February for that belt that you just earned. What do you think about a matchup with Volk? This guy is so small. I, I'm going to stop this guy. Like what I did a couple couple minutes ago, I can do the same things. Take them down and finish him there. Because I know this guy is so small. He's not my level. I respect him. He's a great champion, but I am different level. Because when I step in inside the cage, everybody understands. He's considered the pound for pound best, and it is certainly a matchup we are all already looking forward to. New, new, new goal, new, new target for me. I'm going to be pound for pound number one. Listen, I believe it. You, before I let you go, because they are telling me to wrap, I've got to ask you, you get to return home to your daughter with this belt. What goes through your mind when you think of that? Last couple of months, I'm thinking about my daughter. <laughs> you know, I just want to come home, hug my mother, father, because they're waiting, you know, all my life I travel everywhere, but very soon, very soon, I have maybe three, four years and I'm going to be more with my family. But now I have to complete always because now I'm a champion and everybody wants to take my belt, but I'm going to defend all the time. I know you'll do everything in your power and you will have a very sweet reunion with your family. Well deserved at that. Congratulations, Islam. Thank you for sharing your story with me before this fight. We appreciate it. Go have some fun with that team. Thank <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.